Simlo Seeds is a subsidiary of the Kenya Seed Company and in this episode today we'll be looking at uh, Bracaria and Desmodium as a biological method of controlling uh, fall armyworm. Today we'll be looking at the push-pull technology and in this technology is where um, our partner Isipe have been uh, promoting to our farmers as a biological method and as one of those methods that farmers can use eradicating the fall armyworm. Now, Desmodium is a, a legume. It's a legume where once you plant, it, it, it grows, it climbs onto the other crops. And the biological nature of, um, of Desmodium is it repels the, the fall armyworm. So a farmer would be able to plant this and intercrop with his maize, where once it grows, it will climb onto the maize and thereby creating that uh, repelling effect on the fall armyworm. And with that, he'll be able to also get the nutritional value for his animals once he cuts and feeds his animals with the, with the Desmodium crop that he'll harvest. So towards that end at Simlo Seeds, we have uh, packaged or made available Desmodium in different packs. We have this in 250 grams, we have it in half kilo pack, we have it in even 100 grams, which we've worked with the Sipe to make sure that all our farmers get the right size for the seed that they require. So there are various distributors around the country and these distributors are actually certified. There are so many other shops you can buy your product but what we advise our farmers is go to a registered uh, distributor or agro dealer. When you go to the shop there are several things that a farmer needs to look at. First, to be able to tell that it's genuine seed, look at the packaging, look at the source. If it's a similar seeds product it will be clearly branded uh, similar seeds. And together with that we have a cafe sticker that comes with it. This authenticates the product because once we package the product it comes uh, with a lot number which is uh, clearly marked at the top. So with that lot number and the date it was packaged and the variety will all clearly be shown on the product. So once you buy the seed there will be that sticker that you'll be able to scratch. It will reveal a number. It's very distinct. It's unique to this only pack. So once you reveal that number, you send it to 1393. It will give you a, a feedback that will tell you exactly the product that you're holding in your hand. So every farmer, that is very important. Today we have a lot of uh, unschooled prostrators. That should be able to tell the farmer that is the correct seed. You can also buy directly from Simlo Seeds. Uh, we have depots across the country. Uh, uh, right from Kitale to, to Nairobi and even further down to Lake Toktok, in Meru, in Karatina, in Kisi, in Kisum, in uh, Kakamega. All these centers you'll be able to get your seed. Those farmers who are now more enlightened, those who are using technology on your phones, we have our e-commerce website where you can be able to buy the same product and it will be shipped directly to you. This has been certified, it has been bred to resist diseases, it has been bred for productivity and also it is bred to be true to type. When we say this is Desmodium, we surely assure you that what you'll grow from this pack is Desmodium seed. Well, mostly Desmodium uh, thrives in almost all agroecological zones because Desmodium is highly adaptable, it, it performs very well, you can intercrop it with your maize, you can, in, you can grow it as a barrier crop, or even areas of your land where you are not able to utilize because of the steepness or the slope is too steep for you, for you to put any other crop, Desmodium will go in there very well. It's a perennial crop. So once you have it once in your field, you don't have to keep buying seed. This is a very suitable uh, uh, fodder for all our, our farmers who are doing dairy and also to control uh, the fall armyworm that is now a menace for the maize farmers and even other crops. We have a small demo plot out here on Kijabe Street and we want to show you exactly how Desmodium grows and how Bracaria looks like. This is a Desmodium, the green leaf variety. There are two different varieties. There is a silver leaf variety and the green leaf variety. You will use the leaves to feed your animals. Very nutritious, very high in protein and at the same time repel the, the fall armyworm that will be a problem to your maize crop. So we'll go ahead and even show you how to properly plant your desmodium and bracaria seeds in your farm. Bracaria is also a fodder crop, very smooth leaves. Unlike uh, your napier grass, bracaria has very smooth leaves. It is smooth, it doesn't have spines on it. You can use for your push-pull technology where you can grow it along the side of your farm, bordering your crop, it will attract all the fall armyworm away from your field and therefore protecting your crop from any infestation or even minimizing the infestation that is likely to occur in your field. 
we've prepared a seedbed where we'll be able to demonstrate to you how to plant uh, Bracaria. So come with me to the planting site. The seed rate for Desmodium, you'll need uh, three to four kilos per acre. The higher the seed rate, the more dense your crop will be. The lower the seed rate, the lesser dense your crop will be. So if you're uh, intercropping also, you, you can reduce your seed rate to say one kilo per acre. Desmodium has really, really tiny seeds. Below the crop, prepare your land to a fine tilt. Make sure there are no weeds. Make sure the soil is loose and firm. So you'll prepare narrow furrows along or in between your maize crop. You can use uh, fertilizer, but if you already have a crop that you've already uh, planted with, uh, with some planting fertilizer, be it DAP or uh, any, any NPK fertilizer, then you will not need to use any additional fertilizer. But if you're doing a pure stand like what we are doing now, then you'll need to incorporate some fertilizer or manure in your farm before you sow the seed. Make furrows of uh, 30 centimeters wide then hold the seed in your hand and just drill it continuously all along uh, the furrow. This will be 30 centimeters apart and you continue to drill. Just make sure it's not too concentrated, just uh, spread it out evenly along the furrow. Gently just cover the, the seed so the furrow would be just slightly one inch deep. Make sure you do this when uh, it's either during the wet season, the seeds will require water or make sure you irrigate the field immediately. Within 7 to 14 days, you'll see the Desmodium sprouting and from there, it will be able to climb. Take care of the weeds, make sure there are no other weeds that follow up the Desmodium that you've planted immediately until the crop covers the ground. Right here, this is a, a demo plot, but this is the same thing you'll be doing in your farm, especially when it's a pure stand. When there's a crop, you'll be intercropping the same uh, desmodium alongside your, your, your maize crop. For push-pull, uh, you require two products, control for lamiwam. We have shown you how to do desmodium, how to plant your desmodium. Desmodium pushes the, the vector out of your farm, while Bracaria pulls, pulls the vector towards itself and therefore away from your crop. So with Bracaria, you'll be planting it around your field. So if this was your field, then you'll go sowing your Bracaria around it so that it can um, stop the pest from coming into your field and even pull what is uh, in the farm already out of the field so your crop will be safe from any uh, Folamiwam pest. Uh, farmers out there, you'll be able to get this product and control uh, Folamiwam at a very low cost by planting uh, the correct seeds of Bracaria and, uh, and Desmodium. You can also reach us, call us please, on 0722 uh, 2005 Four, five. We'll be able to advise you on how to plant, we'll be able to advise you on where to get the correct seed. And thank you so much, until next time.